Welcome to another comparison Unreal Engine 5 versus Unreal Engine 4 and today I have this architecture scene here yeah to see if if you already can see a difference if it makes a difference for architecture and um yeah, I have Unreal Engine 4 on the left side, Unreal Engine 5 on the right side. On the very right side, I have this... Boy, well, don't ask me why this is. I realized this like a couple of times with Unreal Engine 5. Which kind of issues this is. We we will see this later again. Um, first of all, I want to focus on some other things I already noticed. So I have Lumen turned on in Unreal Engine 5. I have Nanite... Um, I have uh, I converted the meshes as far as possible to nanite. It's nearly everything. Yeah, but it doesn't make. Yeah, y y y we can see huge triangles here, right? In this scene, compared to, for example, the demo map we had from Epic Games, with uh, well, that was huge, and with other small detail, um, all the details we don't have that here on the floor, of course, and on the table. Yeah, okay, but there are some. And um, so the first thing um, that um, that I noticed was here at the very back. We can see Unreal Engine 4 on the left side, on, on the right side. Uh, let's zoom in here. Ah, interesting, we can see no dirt. I, would, I thought there would be also some dirt here. So what is this? Is this dirt? Is this something that happened during the conversion? Is, is this part of the material or not? Okay, that's a good question. So suddenly it was here and you can see the shining part on the right side of my screen. Um, I, I thought um, it's just better um, to see from, from uh, the other side of the room. So that's interesting. So it's also when we are very close. So probably it's just an er error that happened while converting the scene. But other than that, I didn't see um, that much of a difference yet. So right now it doesn't, it seems that it doesn't have, sorry, any impact um, on architecture. Uh, sorry, let's go back here. Um, <laughs> it's it doesn't happen often that I'm turning on the word editor, but for this comparison, at the word outliner, sorry. Um, yeah. So my first impression is there is not much of a difference right now when it comes to a scene like this. Let's try to align this as well. Mm -hmm. So the shadows are pretty much the same. And by the way, I have the virtual shadow maps turned on as well. Mm, floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what do you guys say? Do you see a big of a difference? Or would you say... Or do you have an explanation why is this for architecture? Well, I get it. There, there are not ma that many details that we can see a difference, for example, uh, with nanite. And um, but for example, I estimated that areas like here below the sofa, like where these are, where the shadows would look different. Yeah, but that's not. I would say that's not the case. Hmm. Maybe, maybe a little, but maybe it's also just the perspective. Ah, okay. This one is harder. That's also interesting. I I would have expected that. Ah, okay. Well, this is more realistic. Yeah. Okay. Well. That's just the small uh, architecture scene. I will compare others as well. What I love with this scene, um, I'm by the way, I'm right now in the cinematic viewport. Let's go back to the default viewport. I love this scene um, because um, um, 
of the cinematic shots you can achieve and the cameras in Unreal Engine 5 seem uh, don't seem to work properly right now as well. Um, yeah, but because of the cinematic shot we can achieve here with these cameras, it's that's also already a great scene for this, right? How how really this room looks and and really amazing shots are possible here. Um, yeah, by the way, I um, started this mini class where um, if you're interested, if you for beginners, so if you never created like a sequence, a film sequence with Unreal Engine, like working with cameras and with sequencer and making cameras move and bringing um, characters in, into the scene and making a small movie out of it. I have um, a small um, eight part series. I got some characters for you, not... Um, uh, meter humans but characters i created outside of unreal engine also with animations um yeah that we will import in a um in an environment in unreal engine and play some cameras in and uh, sh shoot a quick movie a short movie so if you're interested in this i have the link below in the description um yeah so but that's it um for this small comparison between this architecture scene Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.